Hi it's Aisy and welcome to my channel. Today I'm making little paper beads. Okay so I'm doing my card theme ones as well and also demo how to make those and what to how to do them and etc and give you tips and all that. So if you'd like to join me today that would be absolutely amazing. Okay it's basically paper beads. I do hope I mean, when I heard paper beads, I thought it was the ones where you wrap around the paper, but no. And it was inspired by uh, Al John as well, because I fa thankfully I found who, who it is. Introduced to me by Patricia May, so thanks to that, for that, Patricia May. Um, about how many months ago now? About five months ago, I think. Okay. Um... So, if you'd like to join me today, I'd love a thumbs up. That'd be absolutely amazing. That helps my video to be seen. Thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, if you're one of the 40% that haven't subscribed, <laughs> that'd be absolutely amazing if you could do that for me. Um, let's, I want to get that, for, that, that percentage less. Thank you. And um, let's think what else I can tell. All oh, papers on Kofi. Yes, I've got a good example here. Very good example there. Look, that's uh, an example of leafy paper. I've also got doing that on video as well. It's called making leafy paper or something. <laughs> okay, somewhere there a few months ago now. So, um, so without further ado, let's show you how we make these today. Thank you. Right then, so what I'm doing is making some paper beads, but not winding the, as what I've normally thought, think of paper beads, when you wind the paper round the, round a, a well I used to, I'd actually use one of these, little needle actually, before I got a, a, an actual thing to make it from. But I'm going to make some paper beads. Using this, I've got some die cuts. Right, it's easier with the die cut. It seems easier with the die cut to me, or or a punch. So these die cuts. This is what I got. This is what I intended to do. I got this for especially for making these little beads. Okay, so it's a die cut. Uh, oh, I haven't got it up here, but it does these little shapes. And it does these really tiny. It's got someone with the little tiny shapes as well, which. I'm not using for this because I, I I don't know I don't think I could do that unless you <laughs> I don't think I want to do that right my the way I'm making these is I don't know if this is the same as the lady I originally saw do this look at this glue it's terrible isn't it this is an old bottle of glue that's why but I'm going doing my best okay I'm going to use it up <laughs> determined to use it up. Right, so I'm not gluing in the middle if you noticed, okay, I'm just gluing on the edges, okay. And now you're thinking to yourself, oh, it's those, I've seen that done before. <laughs> well, if you have, it might be Al John you've seen. Okay, because that's where I got the idea from. Yes. Um, and it was introduced to me by... Patricia May. Can you see I'm not gluing in the middle on each one? Right, okay, I don't know what she did. Oh, you might she might have glued things of separately. I'm I'm using different I'm using three pieces for paper, for example, because it might be too thick for my punch or my die cut if you use really thick, but you could actually use chip port. Sorry, I'm not in the front camera. You could actually use chipboard. Uh, possibly if your die, your die cut or your punch will take it that will probably take it that's a vast and creative one that's specially for heavy duty but if it won't I would use the thinner ones and just layer them up as much as you want I'm using three layers of uh, file folder here Okay, so three layers of five fold. And what I'm going to do now is cut it out the middle. Okay, and very carefully I'm going to cut out the middle. Okay, like this. Uh, so I have to hold it there. And then I'm going to 
put that down, that, that's the smaller bit, turn it over and cut out this side. So I've got like a groove. Well, I've actually got two pieces with a bit missing in the middle. And with this, I'm going to grab one of these. Okay, and with my terrible, terrible glue, I'm going to do... I've got some better glue somewhere. But I want to use that up. I'm going to make sure... Then I'm making sure that it's to this edge, okay? Not in the middle so much. Don't know why I'm shaking the camera so much today. <laughs> excuse my, excuse my camera shaking. Okay, I think the worst video for that's my. Which video is it? From about nearly two years ago. I've got them and I'm shaking, and nobody said anything. <laughs> I thought, oh, they're so kind. <laughs> right, okay. So there. Then I've got that little group. Can you see that groove? It's very clear. There, you've got that groove where the black is. Okay, there. Okay, I'm going to turn it round because I find it easier. I don't know why to do it. Then I'm going to turn it. Don't have to turn it round at all, but I think I th just decided to. Yeah, you can turn glue how you like. Okay, so I'm gluing there. I've got to make sure that bit goes on there as well because that's. Okay, and try not to get glue on the black because it's quite easy to do, isn't it? On the black it really shows up there so then i've got that then see and that looks like a little shape but if you put needle, you, you can test it by putting a needle through your hole there okay and it goes all the way up and there we go so we've got and now we've got a bead there i've also got these as well and of course you don't have to do card shapes, which I've got to find. I know it's there because it's got a little groove. And you do not have to use card shapes. I'm going to show you my butterflies in a minute. Okay, and I'm going to just show you a demo of a butterfly. Let's do a, I don't know whether I can fit them all or not. It does actually fit through that. There as well, it's quite good. I haven't got enough room for me diamond on the same needle but anyway there it is so that's sort of like checking you, you it will fit over a, a needle okay right so i'm going to demo my butterflies now okay so these are the butterflies there we go that's amazing isn't it? this is how i mean you can use them in i don't know in journals in any way you like there's dangles um i'm thinking about putting those on a spine, um, a spine, the other one. We could put them on the spine, actually. Why not? On a spine, yeah, yeah. You could, uh, if it took it, yeah. Okay, so the I'll just show you how I made a butterfly one. Yeah, on a, a spine dangle I'm thinking of. So you could actually put these together and cut it now and then glue it, but I'm... Uh, I thought that might be a bit more difficult. So what I'm doing is, where's the one I nearly made? Oh, it's there. Is that the one I actually? Yeah, I have got another one over there finished. Right. So what I'm going to do is glue. And I don't know how. I can't remember how Al John did this. I was thinking this. If you can think of a more logical way, <laughs> you do your way. Okay. Don't you know? You can experiment. You could also use other things as well. Other shapes, whatever you've got. Circles is good as well, just because that's very simple. And you can use all sorts of colours and things, couldn't you? Okay, so if you look, I did not glue in the middle. I'm only gluing, I did not glue where this bit is here. So whatever you make, you don't glue the middle. And it's very convenient with a butterfly because it's got that little bit in the middle here. Hasn't it? So if you've got a butterfly punch, that's a very good practice to do that. And obviously, what's happened there? That, that's that's a bit from my previous one, <laughs> probably on the scissors. Right. So we cut that side there. I'm just cutting the wing off. I'm just cutting the body off. Yeah, it is a bit cruel, isn't it? Yeah. Fancy doing that to a poor butterfly. Anyway, that's gone over there somewhere. I just heard it 
So we'll leave that there. Grab one of these, okay, like this. Grab one of these, she says. Unable to grab it, yeah. And then we're going to get the glue and put it over. You can use uh, other glues as well, not necessarily using up glue that you have. You can use some posh glue or you can use... <laughs> <laughs> and use the uh, glue stick you know you don't have to use use up your glue right okay well it's it's probably it, i would have been better off really using a posh glue on camera wouldn't i really okay yeah so and so we're gonna go yep and that one and these are all made i mean these glue quite fast out of glue uh dry quite fast don't they so and this should be that sh one should be done right what i've done is i've decided that tying knots in this is a pretty good idea because if you don't they're quite loose and they slip slip up and down and they bang into each other and everything so i've tied a little knot and i am using a yeah it, ooh, wait a minute where's that gone <laughs> That decided it's trying to escape. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know if it's uh, heard some rumors, but it was trying to escape somewhere else. <laughs> what, what rumors it's heard, I don't know. Right, so let's go in there and we'll put this one on through here. Okay, and that will stop there. I've got one knot there, so you depend if you make a small um, incision as possible in you know, incision, you know what I mean, like cut as possible, um, then that that little knot will do okay i'm gonna make another knot okay this is it might not be regular that's the only thing about this but that could be a thing couldn't it it could be a sort of a a very random placed bead and it could look like you've done it on purpose so don't worry about that let's go there and i would like love to love you to make these because they're so easy to do and now i'm going to put the, this last one on so let's put it on top of that shall we see where we see where we land then i'm going to tie another lot knot to keep it on okay where, 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 where are we okay here we are i'm not put my um rose on but i thought you might like to see butterflies because not everybody's doing cards are they uh, cards as in playing cards okay don't it look nice so you could have a whole row of those and you could add them to the bottom i'm sure you could as well as adding them to the top so yeah or you could just start at the bottom and add them add a add a whole row don't go too much higher in case i need that for tying on anything so i think that's going to be the top one so that's that one then so that won't go any further than this and it shouldn't go any further than that either. And I wouldn't tug it in case you tear it. Well, anyway, I don't think you would actually. I think that's pretty. They're pretty solid, aren't they? So there. Uh, look at this. Something else. Very good. Very beautiful. I just want to show you those. This is what I did. Now this is without punctures. This is drawing them myself. Now that's they're quite easy to do. It's like a little that's like a little tree. Or you could say a little sort of cross in a way, just bulge those out. So that's all that you know, that's on my day. That's like a heart upside down, so that was easy. And then I've got that diamond. That diamond is better than this diamond, I think, because that diamond looks like it just looks like a square, doesn't it? <laughs> But I have got some better squares than that. If I, if it decide, if I decide to make that, I might make them. I might make them bigger. Depends. Anyway, they work really well. It's just the only thing is they took ages. I used five pieces of card. I was thinking about colouring in the card, and I saw that very cheap die cut, so I bought that instead. <laughs> Yeah, it came really quickly as well from eBay. So the the seller was very quick. Um, so that was good. So I've got those instead. I mean, they're not too bad. They're a bit, bit different shape to the ones I did. But um, it looks like the card, doesn't it? I mean, that looks more like... I don't know which one looks more like the club. <laughs> it could be any, couldn't it? Because clubs, I think clubs are the one that makes... 
are mostly different, aren't they? Anyway, I do hope you like my content today. I uh, do appreciate if you give me a thumbs up wherever you are in the world. So if you haven't given me a thumbs up before, please do it. Please, <laughs> it does help my video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's about, oh, it's about 40% of people who watch my channel that aren't subscribed. Please, please subscribe. That would be like absolutely amazing. Please, if you're in that 40% that haven't subscribed yet, please do that for me. That would be a great. Thank you so much. And also, um, papers on Kofi. Yeah, I've got papers on Kofi. Let me give you an example. You've seen this one before if, you have, if you've watched my channel. That's the one I've got handy, though. And that's a very that's the one I'm using for my backs of the card but I'm using them small okay made them into little tiny cute little things yes yeah, so I've got my little example let me just show you that right there's the backs of some of my card I haven't got cards on but there's the idea there's the idea for that yay how cute is that right so with that Let's say goodbye now and I do hope you've enjoyed watching me today. Thank you so much and goodbye.